hacking crew from Ukraine, known as Blackjack, and reportedly tied to the country's main spy agency, has successfully pilfered construction plans for over 500 Russian military sites. The revelation comes from Ukraine's military intelligence agency, the GUR. This group, previously associated with the Security Service of Ukraine, SBU, managed to breach a Russian state enterprise engaged in construction projects for President Vladimir Putin's military. In their cyber escapade, Blackjack seized more than 1.2 terabytes of classified information. This treasure trove includes maps detailing the layouts of over 500 Russian military bases, spanning across Russia and regions in Ukraine occupied by Putin. The compromised data encompasses critical locations like military headquarters, air defense installations, and weapons arsenals. Japan has achieved the remarkable feat of becoming the fifth country to land on the moon with its slim lander. Despite the successful descent, the mission faces challenges as the spacecraft is experiencing issues with its solar cell, rendering it unable to generate electricity. JAXA, the Japanese space agency, reported that the battery may only last a few more hours in its current state. There is a possibility that the panels are not positioned correctly to receive sunlight. JAXA is investigating the issue and hopes that the situation may improve when the sun changes position. Despite the setback, Slim made a soft landing, and communication with Earth is maintained, albeit on low battery. Two accompanying rovers, LEV-1 and LEV-2, have successfully separated from the lander and are in working condition. JAXA is now focused on maximizing SLIM's operational time to gather as much data as possible. Bucks County, Pennsylvania, is currently facing a cybersecurity incident that has impacted its computer-aided dispatch CAD, system since January 21. This incident has led to the shutdown of some automated features associated with 911 calls. However, county officials assure that the phone and radio systems are still operational. Despite the disruption, all calls for service from the public are being received and dispatched to first responders without delay. Incidents are being documented using a backup system. Additionally, the county has temporarily disconnected from the Commonwealth Law Enforcement Assistance Network CLEAN, and the National Crime Information Center NCIC, databases. The population of Bucks County is approximately 647,000, and measures are being taken to address and manage the situation. Hewlett-Packard Enterprise HPE, revealed that the suspected Russian hacker group Midnight Blizzard, also known as Cozy Bear, App29, and Nobelium, gained unauthorized access to HPE's Microsoft Office 365 email environment. The breach, discovered on December 12, 2023, occurred in May 2023. According to HPE's SEC filing, the threat actors targeted a small percentage of HPE mailboxes belonging to individuals in cybersecurity, go-to-market, business segments, and other functions. The investigation indicates that data was accessed and exfiltrated during the breach. This incident follows a previous breach in May 2023, where the threat actors infiltrated HPE's SharePoint server and stole files. The disclosure highlights the context of state-sponsored hacking groups like Midnight Blizzard. Falcon 9 tanks are pressurizing for Stromback retract. Stage 1 locks load is complete and stage one pogo. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. Stage two FTS has saved. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. 23 and Me, the genetic testing provider, confirmed that hackers got hold of health reports and raw genotype data of affected customers in a credential stuffing attack that lasted five months, from April to September. The attackers used stolen credentials from other breaches or compromised online platforms. 
Some of the stolen data surfaced on hacking forums and the unofficial 23andMe subreddit. The breached information involves 1 million Ashkenazi Jews and 4.1 million individuals in the UK. 23andMe revealed that the threat actor accessed customers' uninterrupted raw genotype data and possibly other sensitive information, including health reports, wellness reports, and carrier status reports. This includes ancestry reports, matching DNA segments, self-reported location, ancestor birth locations, family names, profile pictures, birth years, and details from the Introduce Yourself section. Around 6.9 million people's data was downloaded, with 5.5 million affected through the DNA relatives feature and 1.4 million via the family tree feature. In response, 23andMe mandated password resets on October 10 and implemented two-factor authentication from November 6 to thwart future credential stuffing attempts. On January 25, a cyber attack disrupted several key Ukrainian e-services. The affected platforms included the Shliak Information System for Border Crossing, online client services of Naftogaz, and Ukr Porshta. The national postal operator this incident is part of the broader context of cyber warfare between Russia and Ukraine in conjunction with the ongoing military conflict. Naftogaz reported the attack around 10.20 but didn't provide a timeline for service restoration. Ukr Transbespeka, Ukraine's transport safety service, also faced access issues. Ukr Porshta experienced a significant IT failure affecting various services, with efforts underway for resolution. Additionally, there are reports of technical issues with the website of the state Russian language TV channel Freedom. 